Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lift and Shift Dev. So today we're going to talk about how to debug a Node.js with TypeScript uh, application. So I've got a really simple project right here. Um, this is a Node.js app in TypeScript. So I set up the route and in Express and you see this as a really simple get all routes and it's going to return a hello. Uh, string so this is a really simple one and if you look at the package just chase on there's nothing special about it It just express a node.js server. Yeah, so the first method to debug a node.js app is the humble console.log so I normally just use console.log in my day-to-day -day work and it is a fantastic way to see the value of a variable or objects within your application and from there I can you know find out what's wrong in my application so that's a really really simple one but today I'm going to show you a slightly more complicated so let's get into the second method to how to debug a Node.js app so the second method I want to show you guys is using no inspect and right here I'm using no mod for development so no mod basically just used to watch your file changes and then apply that changes to your running server so which is really cool and we can also use a no inspect features and no mod as well so right here I got a no mod JSON config um, and the most important bit here is just the exact map so this is command that no mod gonna run and extension profile I just put JS and TS so what basically does here it's just gonna run no with the TS no um, package so TS no basically just a tool to run no JS and TypeScript and in the package package dot JSON scripts I have a no mod uh, CLI so basically in debug mode we are gonna run no mod with the config specify in the no mod JSON and we are passing the inspect command so this is gonna run uh, the node.js server in a inspection mode so if I go up my open up my terminal right so this is command I'm gonna run before that in order to put a debugger in when using no inspect is we need to type the debugger uh, point in your application so with that i'm going to run dev debug as you can see it said debugger listening on local host 929 and i'm going to go on that link right in in your chrome I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys to see in, in the Chrome when in the, when the Node.js run in debug mode it's going to show you remote target available so from here you can just click on the inspect and it's going to take you to the dev tool right so is this is the console log um, in the index.json uh, index.ts right so right now because my debugger is in the get route so I'm gonna open up my postman and gonna run the um, request right so I'm just run the request in and in the dev tools it's show me the the line that is stop at which is the debugger line right there and on the right it's showing me the local variable is three so right hand right here I can I can see the value of the variable which is great so it's just an out an alternative approach to the console.log but just a little bit more complicated and cooler and from here you can step through the function call and you can re resume the script executions something some something like that so which is pretty cool and this is just a really simple example but you have more like more complicated application you can just step through the function and see what is a local variable uh, are in that function and debug from there so which is pretty cool right now I'm gonna queue this and as the third method you can use to debug a node.js server is to use vs code um, 
So I'm going to show you how you use VS Code to debug Node.js server. So the first step we're going to do is open up the task config default build task and click in there. And then you're going to choose the TSE watch TS config JSON. It's going to create a task.json. So we're going to keep all of these defaults for now. And then in the left hand side, click on this um, so run simple and you're going to create a launch.json file and I'm going to choose Node.js preview and here this is just a config to run a debugger and and the, and the program is because in my ts.config I'm actually output to this folder so in the launch basically what I'm going to do is going to point the program is to index.js because this index TRTS source gonna when it when the TS C run it's gonna build and transpile that to index.js and basically I'm just point the program to be that index.js here. So that's the setup is all done really simple and go back here I'm gonna remove the debugger we don't gonna we're not gonna need it I'm gonna Gonna, I'm gonna set a debug. I'm gonna set a debug point, point in the count equal three line, and, I'm, and on the left hand side, I'm gonna click run. All right, so this is a debug screen in VS Code. I'll go back to Postman and I'm gonna send a request. So it actually stopped on the line eight, and here it got all the uh, available options as the same as the one on Chrome Dev Tools. And when I click step over the line 8, let's go to line 9 and it show you the local variable of the count is 3. And from here you can step into or step outside. So it's pretty simple, a lot simpler than running no inspect. And one of the cool thing is if I change the variable and restart and click on run, and I'm gonna run send another request. I'm gonna repeat exactly the same steps as before. And look at that, the cow is two. So basically, behind the scene, every time you change the code, it's apply the new changes immediately. And then you can run the new debugger in it. So this is pretty cool features from VS Code. So that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys find this video useful and I find this super useful on my day-to-day -day life as a Node.js developer and again thank you so much guys if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much